today I want to show you how to use GoPro cloud storage, which is unlimited storage for around $49 a year. This is a pretty screaming deal in my opinion, if you do have a lot of GoPro footage. And what's cool about this, it also will store your other devices, like your if you have DJI footage or footage from your uh, DSLR cameras. So let's uh, go ahead and I'll show you the basics on how to use this program. So first off, you want to create an account with GoPro.com. So if you click on the upper right hand corner, you can get that set up. And then once you are logged in to GoPro.com, you can hit subscribe. Now once on this screen, and it could be changing up at any time, you can click right here where it says view my media. Now this is after you get everything set up with GoPro.com. At this point, you can go ahead and upload media. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how this setup works. Once you do click on the media, you might see a blank screen. As you can see, as I already started uploading media, when I first started on this, it had a big add media right smack in the middle where you can click on that. And I will go through the process of how to add media on here. First off, to get footage on here, all you need to do is click the add media button. And then at this point, you can easily just drag and drop photos or you can actually drag and drop a whole folder if you would like to. So I'm just actually going to just take a whole folder and drag and drop it right in there. Next, you'll see it get set up on the bottom corner here where you'll see the progress of your uploads. Now, depending on your internet speed will depend on how fast your footage will upload onto GoPro.com. And if you do have a lot of footage, this could take lots and lots of hours. So I'd recommend just doing a few at a time and then that way you can kind of keep track of what you do. So as you can see right now, it's starting to upload and it'll show this blue symbol down here as the footage does go upload onto gopro.com. So what will happen, it'll upload and then it processes. And then whatever date you actually took the footage, and this is where it's really important to make sure you're in your GoPro camera that you have the date and time set up accurately because the way they store the footage in this iCloud service is not on folders. It basically goes by date. And on the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a calendar. You can click on that and drop down and this will show like previous dates you can go back to. So if I had footage in January, I can click on January and it'll show everything that I had uploaded at that particular time. So as that uploads, now a couple good features on here, which I definitely love, is if you have some footage you want to share with somebody, you can actually create a link for that particular footage. So say this drone footage that I took, I can click on the upper right hand corner where you see three little dots and you can create a link for share. So let's hit share. And then here you can actually post it directly to Facebook, YouTube, or you could just do a link. So I'm going to grab a link up, hit share, call this drone footage, and then hit get link. All you got to do here is you just take this link and copy link. Then I could just email it to somebody. They can click on that link and then automatically access that particular footage that I want to share with them. So that's kind of a neat feature. Another cool feature is down the road when I am editing video and I do want to grab up some of this footage back onto my computer is all I need to do is I can once again go to the upper right hand corner of that particular footage click the three dots we're going to go down to download and you can actually do the original quality which I shot in 4k or it'll also give it to me in 1080p if I want that so all you got to do is click on the 4k or 1080 and it will automatically download into your computer and then another option if you just want to delete a particular file this is where you would also delete it so once again click on the upper right drop down delete item and it will take that off over on the left hand side you can also check out different activities your settings is where you can change up your username password and your billing information so that's really important to know and then right here where it says more options if you click that it'll open up another window where you can take you back to the gopro.com go to the products page and what is cool is with a subscription you do get half off of a lot of their product which is pretty sweet so doing cloud storage is actually a pretty sweet thing to do besides external hard drive what i normally do where i always put my footage into an external hard drive but then i always like to do a secondary backup into an icloud service the problem is with the video footage especially 4k these days is the price of backing up all this footage and i'm averaging about two terabytes every four months is what i've been shooting having a un limited storage option for only $49 a year is in my opinion a screaming deal. 
Anyways, uh, this is just some basics of the iCloud service. I really love what GoPro did here. I just wish you had the option of creating folders, and I hope that's something they will change in the future. So anyways, I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, uh, hit that like button and share with it anybody you think this could help them out, and we will catch you on the next video.